What is this? Can we find someone who knows? Um, it doesn't smell like anything. I don't know what to do from here. Should I take a bite? I don't think I should. Deep in the Laokai province, down hours of winding roads, hidden in the Huanglin Chun Mountains, lies the most colorful market in the world. Stepping into this market feels like entering a fairy tale. Beautiful backdrops, unrecognizable magical plants, and the local people dressed in their vibrant traditional clothing. Of the 55 ethnic minorities in Vietnam, 14 are represented in the Bac Ha Ward. Mostly Hmong, but others include Dai, Phu La, and the two Lao people. Please, food is better when you share it. Bac Ha Market opens only once a week. Each Sunday, locals make the journey here to sell all types of produce, handmade crafts, livestock, including horses, and songbirds. They might get a quick haircut or maybe even smoke a little something. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. Good. When people gather together, there is always food, and that is why I'm here today. So tell your mom you'll call her right back because you are about to experience some of the finest and rarest cuisine in the world. I'm coming home, coming home. Uh, Xin Chiang, here we have some corn cake. Uh, mok ban. Mm. So there are two ways to eat the corn cake. You can have it the hot way with the meat, or such as I requested, sour. For over 40 years, this vendor has been selling her corn cake concoction, made by slicing and dicing big chunks of corn cake, tossing in some fresh herbs, fermented cabbage, seasoning, and crushed peanuts, then pouring in some top secret vinegar that is so yummy it must be hidden under a table. The most secret ingredients are underneath the table. Oh. That's the sauce. Here we have our beautiful corn cake, a plethora of different ingredients that I probably talked about in the voiceover already. I'm gonna try just the sauce. Oh, that is a vinegar, but it's not a potent vinegar. It's a little bit watered down, some cilantro, making it nice and fresh. Look at this guy. What a champ. It's like 6.30 a.m. and this guy's like cracking the bong already. I mean, the took Lao. Do you think I could share with him? Do you think he would share? Hi, hi there. Oh, oh God, I gave him a thumbs up, nothing. Maybe they don't do thumbs up where he's from. I wanna try just a, the piece of the cake first. Here we go. That's interesting. I don't know how they did this. It's like a corn jello, but with less flavor. This is kind of the body of the meal here, right? This is where a lot of our energy is coming from. The corn does not have a lot of flavor, but it's about what you surround it with. And it has a nice kind of mushy texture. I don't mind a little bit of mush. More mushing for the pushing? I'm gonna grab some of this salt. That's my move, I made that up too. Oh, we've got some of the greens. We got some of that nut in there. Vinegar sauce all together at last. Mm. It is a refreshing morning treat. Not a very bold flavor. A little aromatic from all the herbs. This market's very interesting. If you look around, you'll see villagers have come from far and wide. Some of them trekking here, some of them driving. I'm sure at least one guy drove a horse here. Vietnam has all these different ethnic tribes. What it makes for is some really unique food and, uh, and things that you've never seen before. It's very regional. I don't think you would find something like this in Saigon. Is that right? The off-camera person says that's right. Not bad as a fun way to start your day. Hi, uh, mo, um, soy, soy. How do you say soy, stick? Soy, soy. soy, soy. Okay. Right here we have a beautiful rainbow snowball of sticky rice. All these different colors, there's orange, purple, yellow. These are actually all naturally colored. I think she thinks we're taking a photo, but it's totally a video. Banana leaf, the original throwaway plate. And then we're gonna put some chopped up nuts on there. Oh, that's okay. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna eat this straight up right now. For over 70 years, Seo of the Fula tribe makes the two kilometer trek from her house to Bakham Market each Sunday. Thank you, come on, call. So here we have our beautiful giant rainbow snowball of sticky rice with a side of some crushed up peanuts. Uh, she didn't exactly give me a spork. She said, use your hands or you can like squeeze it to the top like a freezy pop. First, I'm just gonna try that like this. Mm. For as beautiful as this is, it turns out it's just rice. 
It's good. Good texture, nice and sticky. It is just rice. So I think what I need is some of this peanut mixture on here. Are they laughing at me? Me? <laughs> They're laughing at my good hosting abilities. There are some surprise beans in here as well. That is legitimately good. Can I be honest? No matter what, it's fun getting to try these real, local, unique foods of the mountain people. It's a privilege just to be able to try any of this food in general. But when you have something that's also really tasty, that's even better. Because then you're like, well, why don't they have this at 7-Eleven? Why can't this lady pull up at 7-Eleven and do her thing there, you know? It makes you happy that you're trying it in the moment, and it makes you sad that you know you're never going to be able to try this again. Mmm. <laughs> Let's see what she wants to share with me. Xin chào. Do you want some? Do you want, do you want a piece? Yeah? Oh, please. <laughs> Food is better when you share it. Ang, ang, ang. <laughs> Oh, that is not the most adorable thing I've ever seen. We can have it together. Here, D little dip, dip, dip. Cheers. Let's keep looking. Right now we're in the market area, and this is where they're selling all their fresh produce, including many things that I've never seen before. What is this? Oh my God, right now there's a real vegetable deal going on. Oh, Sincha, what is this? Can we find someone who knows? Right here we have the bao, mushroom, and that is the most funky avatar interesting, beautiful mushroom I've ever seen. Um, it doesn't smell like anything. I don't know what to do from here. Should I take a bite? I don't think I should. They put this in wine. I'm not sure what that does, but I don't know what it does when you put a snake in wine and people do that too, so. Okay, we've got an outside source here. He says this is good for men. So I don't know, is that? Good for men. Does he mean the prostate? Does he mean to grow your hair back? We got the inside scoop that this stuff is good for men. Oh. How you doing? Yeah, oh, show one more time. Just show the camera. He just went like this to me. You know, it's interesting. This whole plant, we can see men buying it and the women selling it. You don't see any women here trying to buy it because this one is good, good for men. I don't know what this means. I don't know sign language, but he said it's good for men. Ah. Hmm. We've got dragon fruit. We've got melons. We've got, whoa, what is this? I found the donut section. Okay, hi. Hi, do you mind if I just squeeze in here really quick? I'm, I'm very small and I don't take up much space. There we, there we go. Is this my order card? What a beautiful array of donut holes. It's like donut holes, guys. I just grab it like this. Okay, so you just grab it, grab what you want, and, and you eat it. Some kind of maybe glue? Huh? Ung, um, ung? Um. What does that mean? More high. Yeah. More high ba ang. Oh! These fried tasty morsels get their color from the taro root used to house the mung bean inside. Slap on a few sesame seeds on the outside and bam, you have a piece of food that you can literally eat. Mmm, that is tremendous. Crunchy on the outside. It's so toasty, it's toasty tasting. Toasty and chewy and then salty too. Oh my God, that's delicious. Can I use this as a napkin too? Oh, wow, so right here, we've got some real honey. This is full of honey and honeycomb. He's got a little filter inside and he's just pouring straight up real mountain honey into this glass bottle. It's 150,000, that's about $7. But look, it's for about a liter. And then inside, I can still see there's some bees. There's still some honeycomb. Oh, and there we go. We have witnessed, we have witnessed a honey deal go down right here on the streets. Very cool, very cool. Uh, oh, she said I can eat some. Oh, come on. Wow, look at that, real mountain honey. Oh my God, it's like candy. Come on, come on, Jake. What we're about to order next, it's something called red pho. From here, I can see it looks like the traditional pho noodle, but it's kind of pink or red. These red noodles get their color from the special type of rice used in their production. Uh, mo, pho da, pho da, da, yeah, this one, the, the red noodle. Noodle, noodle. Uh-uh, one. Uh, uh, okay. Yes. This one, good? 
By this time, I've had pho in a few different ways. I've had it with beef, of course, the more kind of traditional way. I tried it with chicken in Hanoi, and now the, um, there's a big black sausage here. All right, he's just gonna dice up the sausage right there and throw that in my bowl of red pho noodles. Today, our red noodle pho will start with some blanched red noodles topped with a hearty black blood sausage, bean sprouts, scallions, steaming bone broth, and a couple dashes of pepper. It's easy to see why after 40 years, this tiny pho factory has the most famous pho in all of Bakham Market. This is probably the most unique pho I've ever seen. It has the red noodle. It's a little bit more of a pink noodle, if we're honest here. But you know what, we can call it red. It seemed like he was recommending the sausage or maybe like um, not a lot of people get the sausage. So he's like, ah, oh, I need this guy to buy it from me. But no, but probably it tastes really good. We're gonna squeeze in that lime and we're gonna mix that up a bit. I'm gonna scoop up some of that broth, very fatty. That is a great stock. Oh my God, it's hearty, it's delicious, I love it. So let's get a bite with the sausage and the nudes together. Mm. That is hands down one of the best bowls of noodles I've ever tried. I did not expect to be blown away by food here. I thought, oh, it'll be interesting, it'll be different, but wow, that is sensational. The broth is so rich. Typical pho noodle, super soft. And then the sausage has got a little bit of that kind of liver mealiness to it. Oh, so lucky. Two sausages stuck together, what a day. If they're stuck together, it counts as one. Sometimes you can just like taste the love in a food. Remember when you're a, you're a kid, you're playing outside all day, you're famished, you're exhausted, you come in, there's dinner on the table. Something that you would have often that's salty and savory that kind of just made you feel whole. It kind of brings me to that place, even though I was never a young Vietnamese girl. Wow, look at all these beautiful outfits. I need to get some more damp clothing. Look at me, I'm just wearing black. I look like I'm going to a funeral. These people look beautiful. I love it. Do you know, like, maybe I could get a scarf or something? Um. Oh my god, there's a little baby in there! That's so adorable! Uh, Sincha? Okay, it shouldn't be creepy, but there's a little baby in our little basket. Over here, you know, when you see a lot of random containers full of liquid, you know that probably inside, we can at least hope that there's some alcohol. Let's go see. These are big, mismatched containers. I have a feeling that this is not water, if I may. We've got some bottles. Look, here's how you spot rice wine in the country. You look at this and you go, I've never seen clear Coca-Cola. Uh, it's not Coca-Cola. Oh gosh, here it is. Oh, that smell, it smells strong and unrefined like me. Okay, let's give it a shot. Cheers. Mohai ba yo. Oh. <laughs> It's real nice. There's nothing like, <laughs> there's nothing like some rice wine at eight in the morning. This could power a tractor, the 151 of rice wine. Are we good? Can I give it back? I put my mouth on it, is that her? Okay. Um, listen, I had a lot of fun. I'm a little buzzed right now. So I just want to thank you for that experience. Um, do you have YouTube? Do you have YouTube? Do you know YouTube? YouTube? Okay. Follow me on YouTube, sub, I mean sub me with notifications, please. Right here, I'm not sure. Maybe it's some traditional medicine, but you could zoom in here. And then we see that as a snake. What is the snake doing here? I'm not sure. You know what? And some things we can leave as a mystery. Let's keep going. Do you need a large garbage bag full of tobacco? Because this is where you get it. Look at all this tobacco. I'm still, I'm buzzing off that rice wine, I'll be honest. Oh, uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, I can do this. It's all good, it's just tobacco. Uh, seasoned drug user, and we have about 25 people watching me. Tourists want the full, authentic experience of seeing a white guy do some Tuk Lao in Vietnam. And that's what we're gonna give him. Oh my God! <laughs> okay, <let's> go. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're gonna miss the best part. <laughs> Wow, razzle dazzle. I feel great. I don't advocate tobacco bong use. I'm a little dizzy <laughs> and I got smelly bong water all over my leg. <laughs> Smells great. Put that on for some cologne, keep the ladies away. If you've never done this before, it feels like you stood up a little too fast and then all the blood rushes to your head. You feel a little dizzy for about five minutes. Nothing better in the morning than some 151 rice wine and a little bit of tobacco bong and a little bit of tobacco bong water all over your leg. 
Nice. We have stumbled upon something amazing here. It looks like a little, okay, I agree. Look, when someone hands you food, you just take it. I am a sucker for fried delights in any market. It looks like almost some kind of potato pancake with some cut up bits of maybe even just sweet potato, I'm not sure. These starchy fried cakes get their bold orange color from sweet potato, creating a savory, sweet, crunchy creation. A sweet potato pancake with little shredded sweet potato in there. And this is so cool. It's like they've got two of these big canisters. They look almost like big coffee cans. A hot coal in the middle, a cast iron pan on top. She has this cool metal rack where she puts the finished ones and she hands it to excited passerby, passersby like me. It's a perfect breakfast snack. Let's give it a try. Mm. Oh, the crunch, the crunch is real. You hear the crunch? I never lie about the crunch. It's a little bit sweet. It's a heavy, tasty, energy-packed breakfast treat. That's gonna leave you feeling satisfied until lunchtime. Even for someone who's traveled a decent amount now, when we came here, I had no expectations. I thought, okay, small mountain community, perhaps there's limited ingredients, perhaps it's just food that's gonna taste really foreign to me, but everything I've tried so far has been really delicious and it's kind of blowing me away. Look, never doubt Vietnam, never doubt Vietnam. To get more travel tips about this market specifically, click the blog link in the description down below. And this video was brought to you guys and made possible by OneTrip. OneTrip is a company putting on tours in Saigon, Hoi An, and Da Nang. I'm talking food tours. I'm talking the Mekong Delta tour. I'm talking village tours. Experience the real Vietnam with OneTrip. Links for that are also in the description down below. I will see you next week. Peace.